Right, hi, um, I really hope you can see this. I started this with you last week, didn't I, doodling on this page? And I've done that all the way down now, um, from the top to bottom. But the temptation to stitch with me just overwhelms everything else. So what I've done is I've started to stitch down here, mimicking what's going on here in terms of pattern, but not colour. I'm not colour matching here. So, so far, and I may not do many of these on camera because they're really fiddly and it's fiddly enough without an audience. Um, so they're just not my thread. So what I've done is the first one's got a pink French knot and then it's got a green stem and green leaves. And then the next one's got a green French knot, pink stem and pink leaves and just repeat all the way down. So the next one needs to have a green French knot in there. So if I just do one here, now I don't do this kind of thing of an evening on my knee, so I only get to do something like this when I'm not making a video that is. If I get a spare half hour in an afternoon, I'll sit at the table and do something like this. So there's that French knot there. So this may not get completed all the way down for quite some time, but while I'm here on the back, I'll show you the back. I actually quite like the back. I'm very big, if you've done one of my classes you'll know that I'm very big on what I call evidence. And the back, like that, is evidence that I've been here, that I've been working in this book. So I'm going to do the pink stem and the petals now, the leaves should I say. Um, and I do tie off after every French knot and I'll tie off after this little bit here as well because um, I don't want threads trailing down the back um, even though you might think well that looks alright dog's dinner why do you care I don't know it's just I need to be precise and I need to be controlled in a certain way like that so now if I do the stem I don't tie off after the stem when I'm doing the petals um, I just move it over So this is like a lazy daisy stitch that I'm doing here. So as you can imagine, it's not suitable for doing sitting on a sofa when you're watching TV. Um, and bent over a table, it's easier, but it goes for your shoulders and your neck. So make it sound like torture but and it's not and the thing is to me those kinds of things are worth it because this is just going to be so lovely when it's done or at least i think it is and don't ask me what i'm going to do with it i won't do anything with it just keep it to take out every so often maybe working every once in a while and then maybe just look at it and fondle it every once in a while so so that's that. So that's the next one down done. So, oops, I'll do one more. Um, and then that'll be it. And now my thread's come off my needle. Oh, never mind. Oop. There. So that's four on there now. Maybe later this afternoon I'll be able to uh, do a couple more. But I love it. I love it. So maybe the next thing I might do, I'm not sure yet, so it's a pink French knot next. Across the page is perhaps draw another one and then do another stitched one. Um, and there's many variations of that I could do as well. So, you know, that's probably, so this page is going to take me quite a long time. But I just think it's, it doesn't have to be, um, a quick exercise and it doesn't have to be for anything often people say to me yeah but what are you going to do with it well i think it doesn't matter what you're going to do with it if you get pleasure from creating it and if you get pleasure from owning it i read a quote somewhere once and i can't remember it exactly but it was kind of like um if your treasures are folded stored and put away and never looked at again it doesn't make them any less of treasures so long as you know they're there 
and I feel a bit like that. I've got so much stuff in this house that doesn't get used, isn't even on public display. Um, but just knowing it's there and knowing I can reconnect with that by taking it out and having a look at it sometimes, that's enough for me. Um, really. So when I make things, unless I'm making something to sell, oh, Sam, I'm going to sneeze just a minute. Excuse me. If I'm making a present of a pocket or something for somebody, then obviously that's got a purpose. But equally, if it hasn't got an end purpose, i.e. as a gift or to sell or for me to use, I really don't mind. I just, the art of making it is why I make it, because I love that. So and, uh, that's my uh, philosophy for the day. You don't come here for philosophy, you come here for stitch. So one last leaf. I love it, I absolutely love it. I wish I didn't have anything else to do. But then, the other things I've got to do were uh, equally as pleasant. That one, I pulled that one a bit too tight. I also think this is a thinner thread than the pink, so it's less obvious that the petals. The pink is cotton abroad of 16, and this is cotton abroad of 25, so it's quite a lot thinner. Um, so there's a difference in texture going on here as well. Not intentional, just because of the way the thread is. I'm not that clever, I didn't do it on purpose. So there, so that's that one done. So again, fasten it off at the back. And the needles come off the thread again. I mean, threads come off the needle line. Doesn't matter now though. Um, cut that off. There. So hopefully you can see that. Hopefully you've got a good view of that. I'm just going to put this thread back on the needle then I don't lose it. Um, so yeah. So that's an update on what's happened there. There.